Lab 21 wants to use a combination of web shell and local file inclusion. So there's going to have to be two issues with the web app at the same time, which Matilda has. The question we're trying to answer is which directory would be printed if we were to run the PWD, which is print working directory command, from a web shell. So in other words, what directory is the application running from? To so start with, we're going to have to get the web shell. We can send a command over to the server and have it logged. So that'll at least get us started. In this case, the web server is running on localhost, being a demo environment. And we'll just use a simple web shell that's often used where you do a pass through uh, with a parameter, you can name the parameter anything you want. We'll call it CMD in this case. And we're going to use the request super global. That way it doesn't matter if we send in the parameter on the get or the post. It's going to work either way. Of course, that's a bad request to the server. It doesn't follow the HTTP syntax in any way, but it doesn't matter. We're just trying to get the information logged and this will be sent into the log file, even though it's a completely bogus HTTP request. Now that's sitting in the log file, we have to have a local file inclusion in the app, which Matilda does. The page parameter pulls in any page that you send in to the parameter, no matter where it is on the file system. So there we'll put the path to the logs. Logs in Apache are always found in the same place, and they generally have the same name as well. So we go to var log Apache 2, and then it's going to be the name of the host dash access is traditionally what the log file is going to be named, or it could just be access.log. So localhost would either be access.log or localhost dash access.log. And then we said we had to pass in the parameter, which we had called CMD for no particular reason. With the URL set up the way we want, we'll go ahead and visit the page index.php, which will, due to the local file inclusion, load the log file as a page into the frame. And we are also passing in the parameter CMD. And we're going to pass in command PWD, print working directory. We see what happened is, is that when the command CMD actually hit the spot in the log, instead of printing the string that was injected, it's been substituted for the output of the command. So the command output is literally appearing in the log file itself, and it's bar www matilda. We'll take that back over to the original page, select that answer, and submit to get the correct answer.